I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys. I'm trying to like show you guys a little more of my life, explain to you guys a little more of what goes on with me basically. my stuff done by 10 a.m. <gasps> that reminds me. I actually need to check my YouTube stuff after this. I got most of my stuff done at 10. My morning basically consisted of me waking up at about 7 a.m. I'm trying to get back on my schedule of waking up at like 6 a.m. So I'm gonna start going to bed earlier again. But I woke up at about 7 a.m. <clears throat> I headed to outside. I did soccer for about an hour and a half. I might do some more soccer later today. I'm just trying to get better with my skills. I'm trying to get in as much practicing as I can before I head out on my mission. And then I had breakfast. Then I did some YouTube work, organizing a lot of that stuff. I still have a ton of that stuff left to do. And then I went to the store. And I was at the store for an hour, hour and a half-ish. And now I'm drained. I'm socially um, copped out, opt out, I don't know the word. Now, I'm just chilling in my, apart my apartment, my house. Actually, I decided to do like a little like rest my hair day. I don't know if that makes any sense, but basically I just kind of let my hair sit in these braids so that I'm not like curling it or I'm not putting heat on it and all those kinds of things. Now, I'm going to put some more oils in it. If you guys are wondering what oil this is, this is the Monet stuff. I used to like have a plan with them and then I just kind of stopped because it wasn't working as well as I wanted. This stuff works and I've gotten like so many bottles, bottles of them on accident, so we're using it. I like touching pl my plants. I like to like, like look at how cute this one is. I forgot what its name was, but it seems like it's doing pretty well. I like doing those little relaxing things because it just makes me feel better, you know? Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna write down all the things I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Y'all, I didn't realize it's very different being back, like, than the last two times I've come home. Like, last summer, I had only been out of out at college for one semester, so I was still kind of a child. I still, I mean, legally, I am like a, a child. I'm 18, but anywho. But I hadn't started like growing my independence and like, no, that's not the thing. I'm very independent, but started becoming an adult basically. Right, and then I came home for Christmas break and that was kind of the same thing. I was a little bit better, but now I've been out of, out at college for a year and a half and this last semester specifically changed me a lot. I really learned a lot of lessons. I made harder decisions, I feel like. Now everyone's like hard decisions are relevant to like them, right? It all, it all depends. But for me, I really started to become and grow and become independent and become Clay Leia, like who I'm gonna be as an adult and stuff and like make up my own mind about my opinion on things instead of like my parents' opinion and all that kind of stuff. And so coming back home, it's been great because me, my mom and my dad, me and my parents, we have like a good thing going for like respect and how I go about that. I also do not have any friends up here where I live and so I'm just not, basically what I'm trying to say is I'm not very busy. So I'm not like out until like 1 a.m. and so we don't have an issue with curfew or anything. My parents are pretty understanding of me traveling because I spend my own money on that. I just make sure that the dates work with them. But it's still kind of a struggle just because their lifestyle versus my lifestyle is a little bit different now. Like I grew up, I grew up doing the stuff that they like that their lifestyle is now, but it's still different because I kind of made up my own mind, my own opinion on things, you know? So it's a little hard. I'm not saying it's hard in the sense that like my parents aren't understanding or like we fight or anything. It's just getting used to like the different ways, you know? I want to know what it's like for you guys, like coming back from college. Like what is that like for you? Let's keep going about our day. Woo. I actually should probably put away the groceries. Oh, also look what I did. Control your money ad spending addiction. Save for college. I put that there to remind me to not spend my money all the time because I am a really bad spender.
Please be good, please be good, please be good. It needs one thing. Try it. Salt? It does, it needs a little bit, not a lot of salt. Can I try some? It's really good. It's almost sour, and then it calms down. I think that was a little too much coconut milk. Uh, no, it's supposed to be three. I just added more lemon, though. Was it too much lemon? It needs salt. Ooh, Don't sorry. do a ton. It does need salt, though. Dinner is just about ready. We're setting the table. We have some guests coming, some special guests. <laughs> I'm back in the same place where we started this video. I literally am in the worst angle ever. I'm so peopled out now, y'all. I just wanna lay in my bed, not talk to anyone, except for my family, and just relax and let my brain not have to think about people and stuff. We had the missionaries over, which was so much fun. They tried my food, and I'm pretty sure they liked it, which made me very happy, because I was like, oh no, please, please stay good. I get really scared when I have to like feed people like uh, outside my family, especially people I don't know, or plan something for people outside my family, like at SVU in our YSA, Young Single Adult Ward. I was kind of the activities committee leader person, and so I would put on these this thing called a linger longer, which is basically after, I didn't realize this is something that like almost all YSA wards do. After the fifth Sunday, or fast Sunday, I meant the first Sunday of the month, is when we fast. I can get into that some other time, but, and then afterwards we break our fast basically, and we have food. So we stop our fast, and we get to have food together. We just meet with everyone. Basically, it's a, t it's a chance to like get to know everyone a little better and kind of become cl a closer ward family is what we call it. And so I would always do those and oh my goodness, I would get so anxious, like so, so anxious and scared whenever I had to do it because I was like, what if there's too much? What if there's not enough? I hated like ple pleasing people. Well, I love pleasing people, but I hated being the reason maybe people were like upset or stuff like that. It just made me so anxious. That happened, but it was great. They gave us an awesome message, which was super fun to hear. They're super great people. And there's a hair that's sticking out. Oh, that's awkward. I need to take my hair out of my braids. They're kind of frizzy now. But now I'm just like laying, resting, letting myself just not have to think, not have to like worry about anything because oh, I am so tired now. That's how I feel right now. So I've been on Instagram doing stuff that kind of just soothes me. I should get into a good face routine. I need to actually do that. My face is breaking out a ton. I accidentally, not accidentally, I used some of my friend's face wash and stuff when I was up with her and my face broke out a bunch, so. I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys. I'm trying to like show you guys a little more of my life, explain to you guys a little more of what goes on with me, basically. This is what's going on. I'm gonna go on my phone, I'm gonna plan some things. Just do things that makes me feel relaxed and not have to think too much.